So before the boys go in the derby, it's the girls in the Oaks on Friday, and there's a field of really lovely fillies for this, Catherine Fiddler from the Bloodstock Desk. And again, we've been going through the pedigrees. Um, let's start with the favourite, Secret Gesture. Sheikh Farhad's got his Qatari millions out and bought half of her. Um, what are we thinking about her? She, I mean, she's got just sort of the ideal pedigree for any pedigree buff, really, hasn't she? She has, absolutely. As you say, she's a really nice sort. Uh, her dam, Shasti, was actually sent to Galileo specifically with the aim of breeding an, an Epsom horse. So that's panned out very well. Oh, we have good, good planning, yes. <laughs> yeah. She's bred on the renowned Galileo Danehill Cross. As we mentioned, that has thrown up some incredible performers over the years, spearheaded by Frankel. But like we mentioned, a lot of them tend to be mild, 10 furlong horses. Um, however, her performance at Lingfield suggests that one mile four, not going to be a problem. And she was that's the bloodstock, bloodstock pick for that race, wasn't she in Lingfield? Bloodstock desk pick? She was, yes. Mm. And that's all. Uh, getting the trip is also supported by the fact that her dam went over one mile four. Her dam is a half sister to the Ark winner, Saga Mix, and the, that pair are both out of a one mile four group two winner. So it all looks good on all her front. All that's good for secret gesture. Um, she is from the same Rafe Beckett stable as Talent, who won the Pretty Polly. Um, another one by New Approach, who's running at Epsom over the weekend. Um, and again, it's, it's a, another really nice family. It is indeed, yeah, absolutely. The dam, the second dam and the third dam all ran in the Oaks. The third dam by Reem, she won in 1980. As you say, she's by New Approach, but unlike her Derby-seeking paternal sibling, there's no lack of stamina on the dam line. Got a much, much better profile in terms of sticking out the trip. And her dam, yes, was also runner up in the Cheshire Oaks prior. So, n not a bad profile. So, two, two frillies pretty much guaranteed to be pitching in there at the end from, from Rafe Beckett based on their pedigree. Um, what about Liber Nauticus? Um, again, this is another pretty nice family, but maybe she didn't impress everybody with how she won at York. Um, looking at her pedigree and such, should we be more hopeful for Epsom? Yeah, I mean, may, maybe she just needed, I think they said she maybe wanted a stronger pace, but she didn't seem to work very hard, hard for that win. Um, but she's, like you say, another very well-bred winner. She's by Azamore, who's the sire of last year's French Oaks winner, Valera. Um, her unraced dam, Sarah's, is a daughter of Dale Army. He's an excellent stamina, stamina influence. Uh, his top-rated runner on Racing Post ratings, Grey Swallow, won the Irish Derby. Um, Sarah's is also a half sister to the great voltage winner Hard Top and also Sir Michael Stout's champion cult conduit. It's another one of them families where it's good horse, good horse, yeah, good horse, wherever absolutely. you look, isn't it? Yeah, so I mean, stamina doesn't look to be a problem. Interestingly, it's also the family of Nicky Henderson's My Tent or Yours. Oh, there you are. So, um, yeah, so the question might be, you know, is she going to have that speed? Or can she win a champion hurdle? Maybe. <laughs> Three um, years' time, who knows? Yes. Right, let's move on to um, Aidan and Brian's got a couple in there. Um, I'm going to go with the rather unflatteringly named Moth. Um, <laughs> again, another, another Galileo Frilly here. Uh, is, she, is she the top contender of his? Uh, I, possibly, yes. She ran a very eye-catching race in the Guineas. And does look a real danger here. Um, of the he side last year's Epsom Oaks winner was. Um, she's one of six winners for her dam uh, Pierre de Plume by Seattle Sleeve. Three of those are by Sadler's Wells, who is, of course, the sire of Galileo. So they're three part sisters. They all won black tight races over middle distances, including uh, Cheshire Oaks winner Sale. And further back in the, in the pedigree, it's, uh, the third dam is a top stayer in Ladyberry. Okay. So, yeah, all looks good here for staying out the trip. Again, it, it's, you know, perhaps going to be, is there enough speed there? Okay. Uh, but we'll, we'll wait and see. Sure. Okay, now, um, Bonoffi, impressive so far that she was supplemented for the race. But she's by Hurricane Run, who was banished to Germany. What did he do wrong? What's wrong with Hurricane Run? He's done, he's done absolutely nothing wrong. And when she won the Cheshire Oaks in, in good style, she looked and inherited plenty of visibility. He obviously Irish Derby winner, Ark winner, fantastic middle distance runner. Um, the, the problem with Bonoffi, maybe on the down line, she's lacking a little bit of the class that the others boast. OK. Um, but, I mean, she's out of it, a group place juvenile. And there are good middle distance performers in there, Golden Steel and... Golden Marvel. Additionally, Annabar is uh, the dam sire of uh, Dalcala and Fellow Oaks entrant was. So, you know, she I mean, obviously she's with a chance, so they wouldn't have supplemented it at great cost. I was going to say, it's a, it's a pretty big gamble to take if you don't think she's got much of a chance. Great stuff. Okay, um, the last one that interests me is the Lark, um, who I guess, provided she comes out the stalls, 
would be an interesting one as she is a sister to Sariska who decided to end her racing career by not coming up. She's out of a half sister out to Sariska. Yeah, oh, in that close. case, she's out of a half sister yeah. to Sariska. <laughs> Yeah, she, she's an interesting case. Unlike many of the others in, in both the Epsom Classic, she's got a bit more speed on top. She's bipivotal. He's a very versatile sire, but many of his top runners are Splinters, Milos, Kailaki, Fahar. Um, but the dam, as you say, Goldwing, she's a half-sister to Sariska, Jewel Oaks winner, very talented performer, if uh, enigmatic and uh, yes, tricky. Quite. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, Gull Wing, she's by in the wings. She stayed all day when a listed race over one mile six furlongs. So the question here is balancing that speed and stamina, but it seems to be inverted to a lot of the others. Does that make any difference at all from it, the other, other way around? It, it depends really, I guess, on, you know, it depends on the, the potency of the influence of both. But Pivotal, very potent sire, a lot of good, good runners. I think he'll be able to inject the, the speed that she needs. Lovely. OK, so. What's your selection? I'm going to have to side with the favourite, I'm afraid. Secret gesture, very classy family, related to an arc winner, but on the Galileo Danehill Cross, which has thrown up some outstanding performers. So not much of a, a betting coup, I'm afraid. <laughs> so there it is, the selection of Bloodstock reporter Catherine Fiddler is secret gesture to win the Oaks and make Shake Farhad very happy. <laughs>